finally, after years and years and years, we get to have one of these in the background. It's going to end up being like right there. Super excited about this. I've wanted one of those since I was like 12. If anybody on YouTube tries to pass off as being super humble and says that this isn't a big deal, they are lying to you. We head on over to the Tech Cut YouTube channel, go to video, and let's sort this by oldest. 10 years ago is when we uploaded the very first video and it was a Minecraft video. My main thing when first creating this channel was Minecraft bucket plugin videos with the occasional little tutorial in here and a couple of Linux videos actually mixed in here, including down here, we have a how to run and install Minecraft or a Minecraft server on Ubuntu. So technically I've been doing Linux content for a long time too, but the point of this video is to kind of go back to the roots and we are going to be showing you the very best way to play Minecraft on your Linux system. And that is going to be with this, the PolyMC Launcher. It is an open source Minecraft launcher with the ability to manage multiple instances, accounts, and mods focused on user freedom and free redistributability. This isn't officially supported by Microsoft or Mojang, whatever, but it is updated quite a bit. You can see the latest release was just about three hours ago. And if we go in here, we can see some of the changes, mostly a whole bunch of different fixes and some very minor additions here. This is a Linux focused video, but this is also available for Windows and Mac OS. A wonderful launcher, especially if you are somebody who wants to play around with mods, texture packs, and things like this. You can have separated instances and separate versions. So if you like a mod that hasn't been updated in a year, you could still use it and not mess with your current Minecraft install. And oh, so luckily this is available on Linux as a flat pack. So if you're on Fedora, you could just go to the app store, download it, or just go to Flathub, there'll be a link down below so you can check it out there. And I do believe if I go back over here, there was also an app image. So if you prefer app images, you can uh, download that right there. The full app image is just about 120 megabytes, so not too bad. And to save some time, I already have this thing installed. So we can just go over here to PolyMC, click on open, and there we go. I'm gonna drag this to a new window, and here it is. Now I'm on GNOME right now. It doesn't look the absolute best because this is built with the uh, QT toolkit. So if you're running a KDE Plasma, this will blend in a lot better with your system. But from a functionality standpoint, everything is still here. We have the option to add instances, folders, settings, help, and a lot more. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and connect my account. So here I'm going to go manage accounts. And then right here, I just got it converted over to Microsoft finally. So I'm going to hit add Microsoft. And then from here, it's going to give you a little code. So I'm going to copy that and then open up this Microsoft link here, paste in the code. So now if I jump back over, so if we jump back over here, it fetched everything and there we go. I now have my uh, tech hut profile all ready to go. And when you do first launch this after installation, it's going to ask you a couple questions. First, it's going to ask you your language, and then it's going to ask you what version of Java you'd like to use. It's better just to go with the default, go with the one that has a star. And then when you're in, that's when you could go ahead and go into settings and change some things. So there are a lot of different settings under launcher. You can change what folders you can customize the user interface and check out the console and actually change some of the fonts and all that. So it's pretty cool. We have our Minecraft settings. So here we could change our default window size. We could start it as maximized. I could do something like switch the uh, default to 1080p, for example, or a 720p. And then we have some other settings here under Java. You could change this, change how much uh, gigabytes of Ram is going to be the maximum allowed. For me, this is going to be fine. We have language, custom commands. So you can add those if you want to. Proxy, we have some external tools. So you can add some connections to these external tools. And of course, we have accounts in the API. So if I go ahead, close this out, what we're going to do real quick is add a new instance. So if I click add instance, here, we're going to have a lot of different options. We have our regular vanilla Minecraft. And like I said, you can have multiple instances with multiple versions. Whether, like I said, if you want to use a different mod, an older mod, you could do that. Or if you want to go back to a version where they have like different combat mechanics, that could be an option for you. Additionally, they have a lot of options. We have the AT launcher. So this is a bunch of different mod packs that are just ready to go easy to install through here. So that is super fun. And then we have a uh, cruise for or curse forge. So some more FTB, which I'm honestly not sure what this is. 
I'm not in the Minecraft loop as nearly as much as I used to be. Unfortunately, I don't have as much time to sit there and relax and play this as I would like to. And then of course we have Technic, which this is another really fun way to go about playing this. For now, we're gonna keep it easy. We're gonna go vanilla, go with the latest version. And if you don't want to use their specific mod packs, you could load in your own mods right here if you'd like to, but I'm not gonna do that for now. Let's just go ahead and hit okay. And then here we are, we have 1.18.2 as one of my instances. Now, if I want to, I could go launch. All this has more settings, so I could go profilers. I could launch this as an offline instance. Edit instance, view notes, view mods a lot more. So if I want edit instance, for example, this is instance specific settings. So for example, settings, if I go over here, game window, here is where I can make sure that it actually follows these settings. And then you have your custom commands and all that stuff. And then of course we have the link to open our global settings. I'm going to close that for now and just show you this working. So let's launch this instance. And this is the first launch. So it's going to go ahead and pull all the assets and game files that it's going to be needing to music off, unfortunately. And we can see here, it did open up in 720p. So that's cool. Done, done. And then we could go single player, create this new world. And there we go. We are in F2, not F2, F3. Whoa, let's see how we're running. 60 frames per second, I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead back out of here real quick and we're gonna do a little sponsor segment, but before you skip it, I'm gonna be setting up a quick little Minecraft server and logging into that. So if you go ahead and use the link down below, you get $100 60 day credit to Linode. And I'm gonna just show you real quick how easy it is to use their marketplace for their one click installers. So marketplace, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select the Minecraft Java edition. Scroll down from here and we have some settings. So we just fill this out, give ourselves a non root admin. And here you could go ahead and change your world name message of the day powered by Linode. And we have some basic settings here. And of course, after this generates and creates, we could go ahead and configure all of these in just our normal uh, Minecraft server configuration files. World type here, we could change this if we'd like to. I'm gonna keep that as is. We have our seed, spawn animals, NPCs. Game mode, let's go ahead and just make this creative for now. Maximum build height, a lot of different settings here. Give that a password. We have our port by default. It's gonna be the default port, which is 25565. And here for image, this is actually gonna be the distribution. This is gonna be running on Ubuntu. For region, obviously go ahead and pick whatever server is closest to you or closer to your target audience. And then I'm just gonna do this on a little two gig nanode. Root password create Linode, and there we go, it's provisioning. The cool thing with this is we can launch this console to kind of see the status and see what it's doing. Installation complete. So let's go ahead, log in here with the uh, information we inputted, MC server, enter, and then let's do ST to start up our server. All right, so now we should be able to log in here. So just paste in the IP address over from Linode, and there we go. And that's really how easy it is to set up a, a Minecraft server with Linode again. Use that link down below for a hundred dollars, 60 day credit, you might as well. And like we saw, there's a whole bunch of other things, applications, uh, server services and whatnot that you can use. So with this, let's go ahead and add a new instance and let's try one of these uh, mod packs here. I'm gonna try it from a, a CurseForge and this first one right here, RL Craft, it's sorted by featured. This mod pack is specifically designed to bring a hardcore semi-realism. Downloading the mod pack. There we go. So now if I go over here and let's do view mods, we can see everything that's included. So this is a whole heck of a lot going on here. And if this actually works with all of these different mods together, that would actually be uh, pretty cool. So launch it, let's try it, see if it actually works. Not compatible with Java 17, try to switch it. So we should just be able to go over to the settings specific to this instance, uh, Java installation. Let's do cancel, let's do auto detect and let's do the version eight. So let's give this a shot, launch it. And some errors in there. There's a couple of red things I saw. It's still launching though. So it's cool it has the console here. <laughs> There's been a lot of different errors that's come through. So it's definitely not foolproof. Not everything is guaranteed to work perfect. It, it seems to have launched. So let's go ahead and go into single player, create a new world and jump on in. See if my GPU explodes. All right, very weird loading. Uh, press H for the tutorial. Ooh, a button. 
the whole loading of everything coming up is pretty cool. Uh, H for tutorial. Okay, welcome to the tutorial for the first aid mod. Okay, that's just one of the mini mods that are on here. Mod options. Okay, look at all of those. Forge, advanced hooks. It's not trying to do the ray tracing thing, so it's not going to be bad on my GPU. I expected that. I might have to enable that manually, or it might have been one of the mods that kind of threw out an error. It's actually realistic little branches there. Is it going to give me a whole piece of wood? Nah. But yeah, super cool stuff. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, comment, uh, like the video. All the downloads and everything I talked about will be in the description below. Oh, that's cool. When I go underwater, it like blurs my vision like I have water in my eyes. Oh, I almost got you. Nice.